Hi, in this video, we will configure the ITOP application from the beginning. So we have previously shown you these are the steps to configure the software successfully. So after configuration, we will log into the system and perform ticketing operation on later video. So let's get started. So let's first create the organization. This is the sample organization. We'll go to new mailserverguru.com. This is a sample code MG. This means nothing actually. This is optional. We can give it or not. Status active, no parent organization, delivery model. We will add delivery model later. Create so our organization created now first we have to create the delivery model we know what is a delivery model let's say organization delivery model or org delivery model organization mailserverguru.com then create the delivery model so we will add our uh, support agents and managers later on the delivery model so we have created the delivery model we could do this uh, delivery model creation later time but we did it earlier no problem with that so let's go to the contact person new last name munna mm rahman organization mail server guru location not mandatory manager not mandatory munna at mail .com. this is the sample email address and phone number I can give a picture here but these are optional let's get the first user new let's add the second user organization mail server group just like previous time location not mandatory not mandatory So in this way we will create our all users here you can see we have added all the manager and the support agents now let's create one normal user i mean the normal customer for example fatin raha mailserverguru.com we have created one customer and all the support agent and managers so in our next step we have to create the team and add member to team so we have application support desktop support and system support team let's go to the contact team create new team application support team organization okay now members so we have Mike Tyson, Tony Bentel, and MM Rahman Munna. Mike Tyson and Tony Bentel. Okay, so create. Now we have created the application support team with its members. So in this way, we will create another team 
and we will add respective members to the team so now here you can see that we have created all our team application support desktop support and system support and we have added the respective member to this team so our third step is creating team and add member to the team this is done so fourth step is create service contract or customer contract we have to go to the service management then customer contract create a new customer contract we can say organization org customer contract we can name it like this no problem then customer is our is the mail server group.com and the contract will be valid from the 1st July to year 2009 29 okay no problem with that we don't need to select all of these these are not mandatory provider is the mail server guru status contract type not necessary let's create the customer contract okay so now create the service family so we will have only one service family it is called the IT service create the IT service family okay so now create service services and create service subcategory create service so let's get this service our service will be desktop support and status will be production and each service must have a customer customer contract attached so we will add our org customer contract okay so create the first service let's create another service desktop support now see laptop support provider mail .com. we can select here the it service the service family status production customer contract let's add the customer contract now let's create if you see the services desktop support and we can modify and select the service family it service and then click apply to modify the configuration of the services okay so we have created two service here and we will add our uh, rest of the services here so now here you can see that we have added all our services these are the main service category desktop support laptop support network support printer support security support and server support uh, this kind of support we are providing to our customers so within these support category we will have subcategory of the support for example the desktop support in this in desktop support we could have um, hardware support or software support or application support or uh, operating system upgrade patch upgrade this kind of support uh, can be added with the desktop support so let's add the subcategories now create new service subcategory os service pack upgrade service will be under desktop support status will be in production and this support will be a service request so let's create the first one now let's create the second one we can say PC problem desktop support status production create so in this way we will add our other service subcategories with the main services now here you can see that we have added all the subcategories uh, with the main service category so we can see all the subcategories here so we have completed our um, create service subcategory the seventh step and we have added already created a service delivery model and add support member to delivery model now let's go to the delivery model again organization delivery model now contact modify 
add contact object now we can here select the team and we have to select all the team so we must add all the support manager and support agents to the organization delivery model uh, we can either select this as person or as team so team will be better so let's add all the team here okay so now we have added our support member to the delivery model now to log into the height of software we have to create all the user at the admin tools user accounts here we have to add all the user so let's create the first user it will be itop user apply contact person billy ferguson billy billy's password now we have to add some profile he is not an administrator and he will not be portal user he will be a support agent so we can add all the things with this user so these are his privilege actually what he can do let's create the first user let's create another user mm rahman munna this user will be an administrator so we can select everything and we can deselect portal power user and portal user so in this way to log into the software we have to create all the uh, user in the admin tool user accounts now here you can see that uh, we have added all the user to the itop um, admin tools user accounts so all user can log into the itop system and they can perform their own functions so here uh, we have added all the manager the support agent the client uh, if we see the permission or the profile level let's see the munna munna is the administrator here so we have added the administrator uh, profile privilege level and also the other other profiles and privileges also and if we see uh, let's say john john is a support agent so he is not an administrator so we didn't add the administrator here so let's see about the raha raha is the customer so we have added only the portal user so if raha logs in then he will find only the he will see only the uh, customer portal so that he can uh, rise the ticket or rise the request okay so here we have completed our 11th step from uh, creating the organization creating user team uh, customer contract service family service and service subcategory we have created the delivery model and then we have added the uh, support agents to the delivery model then we have added all the user to the um, admin tools user account uh, to log into the itop software and we have added the permission profile uh, to the itop user okay so we are done at the uh, first level of the configuration and at the second level we have to um, create the email notification setup trigger action dashboard design and user preference so we will see this on the next video so if you still didn't subscribe to my channel please subscribe and share the video so that other people also can take the help from this free software so thank you i'll see you on the next video